Unfortunate for Creek. That's a long ball. It's Duran. Able to hold it up, makes him. Played right to the Akron player, but back out to Aiden O'Connor. He's going to swing it, and oh, oh, sharp with the chance. Smith. He was able to get one touch on it, know where he was going, put it right in the back of the net, no skips. So just being able to have that first touch and know where you're going, know what your next move is going to be, really sets the tone for the rest of the offense. It can catch the defense off guard as well. Georgia Southern working into the attacking third. Good stand up from Fisher coming in for Charles Sharp. I don't know if you just saw, Jared, but Blankson wanted everyone to clear out wasn't going to get that luxury. We said at the beginning of the game. Two Broncos on defense. Quick intercept from O'Connor. Up to Creek. Ball comes out. Creek into Nimick. It's a good play, too. And now you've got Pacheco involved. It's the long ball again. Chapman getting through somehow. So now a lot to be said for the teams that will continue to fight out for one of the top four spots. Bowling Green now sits inside that cut line with Akron in West Virginia and just outside. Back into the box goes West to keep the pressure on. Lacasco, top of the box. Graves sends everybody forward. By the Falcons. 15 minutes gone by. And if you had to give one team an edge so far through the first 15 minutes, Lacasco outside. Ball back through to the middle. Cleared out of the box. Apanunu back across. It's there by the Falcons. Back into the box goes Western Michigan. Apanunu tries to play. Jackman, outswing toward the middle of the box. Graves tries to come out and get it. Anaya trying to create some pressure. Nichols will continue to do the same. Apanunu back to Graves. Pressure from Sharp, but Graves gets it away. Ball again. Graves away and across midfield. Eden O'Connor wins using the 6 4 size to his advantage. Downfield to O'Connor. Piped up through the middle. Hockey on the run. Back across midfield. The 6 4 Connor won the ball once again. Gets help from Bonnemurray. Pressure from Melton. Out across midfield where Aiden O'Connor gets to it first. Melorani over the middle. Shot blocked by Faki. O'Connor, back toward the box. Well, I can get behind him, but 
did win the physical battle with Miller. Mellorani. Oh, good pull by Mellorani. Creek. Away. Ball carrying down near the top of the box. Falcons able to clear it away once again. And you can sense Absolutely. And I think, too, there's a lot more to be written right here. You know, but again, the, you know, that ball there, you know, playing it into a six foot four man mountain to his head is probably not the offense that's going to get that's you where you can have beat. those chances. And I think that they know that, you know, the more pressure it puts on the defender, as you see the good header there. Again, Peyton O'Connor. <laughs> First field. She'll take it down the center lane. Chip pass to the far side. Southern able to take it. Ziegler able to get around two Broncos on defense. Quick intercept from O'Connor. Up to three. there by the defense Nine, of the Broncos. Eight, seven, six, five. And that will four, do it three, for oh, the last second. Again, it'll be Ziegler to get play back underway. He's trying to find Green Pedersen. The pass was long. Now here's the Broncos in the attacking third. Able to switch field very well. Western Michigan working with. Touch pass up the wing and to... He was able to get one touch on it, know where he was going, put it right in the back of the net, no skips. So just being able to have that first touch and know where you're going, know what your next move is going to be, really sets the tone for the rest of the offense. It can catch the defense off guard as well. Georgia Southern working into the attacking third. Good stand-up play for the defense of the Broncos. Wow. Justin, about how much of a standard Chad Weisman has for his junior goalkeeper. Western Michigan trying to get into the attacking third. They will. 